नमस्कार स्टूडेंट्स होप यू आर हेल एंड हार्टी टेकिंग केयर ऑफ योर हेल्थ एंड योर स्टडीज माय नेम इज ज्योत्सना एंड आई एम फ्रॉम एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट चंडीगढ़ वाइल गोइंग फॉर शॉपिंग विद योर पेरेंट्स यू मस्ट हैव सीन दैट योर पेरेंट्स ऑफन गेट सम वारंटी कार्ड एंड गारंटी कार्ड साइंड फ्रॉम द शॉपकीपर स्पेशली वेन दे बाय सम बिग अप्लायसेज लाइक टी वी वॉशिंग मशीन और रेफ्रिजरेटर इवन फॉर दी सी एफ एल्स वी गेट द सिग्नेचर्स ऑफ द शॉपकीपर एंड दे जनरली पुट अ नंबर ऑन इट एंड दे से दैट द सेड सी एफ एल वुड वर्क फॉर अराउंड एन ईयर और प्रॉबेबली टू ईयर्स दैट्स अ गारंटी दे गेट सो वॉट हैपन्स इफ अ प्रोडक्ट ब्रेक्स डाउन बिफोर दैट वॉट डू वी डू we call the company people they come repair the thing or take it away and replace it with the new one have you ever thought why does it happen very simple as a consumer it is our right whatever they are guaranteeing a product for that they have to give and if they fail to give they have to replace that is our consumer right failing which we can knock the door of the court special courts of these are the consumer courts that's what we are going to do in today's session we are going to take up chapter number 5 from the book understanding economic development of grade 10 the name of the chapter is consumer rights so let's get going The definition of consumer right is a right to have information about the quality, potency, quantity, purity, price and standard of goods or services as it may be the case but the consumer is to be protected against any unfair practice of trade. It is very essential for the consumers to know these rights. However, there are strong and clear laws in India to defend consumer rights the actual plight of consumers of india can be declared as completely dismal out of the various laws that have been enforced to protect the consumer rights in india the most important is the consumer protection act in 1986 according to this law everybody including individuals a firm undivided hindu family and a company have the right to exercise their consumer right for the purchase of goods and services made by them it is significant that as consumer one knows the basic right as well as about the courts and procedures that follow with the infringement of one's rights in general the consumer rights in india are listed below the right to be protected from all kinds of hazardous goods and services the right to be fully informed about the performance and quality of all goods and services the right to free choice of goods and services the right to be heard in all decision making process related to consumer interests the right to seek redressal whenever consumer rights have been infringed the right to complete consumer education the consumer protection act 1986 and several other laws like the weight standards and measures act can be formulated to make sure that there is fair competition in the market and free flow of correct information from goods and services providers to the ones who consume them in fact the degree of consumer protection in any country is regarded as the right indicator of the progress of the country there is high level of sophistication gained by the goods and services providers in their marketing and selling practices and different types of promotional task which are advertising resulted in an increasing requirement for more consumer awareness and protection so The government of India needs to have world class product testing facilities to test drugs food cars or any other consumable product that can prove to be a menace to the life it does not happen coincidentally that tata nano is sold in india 
for half of what it costs in a country which is industrially developed. This is a classic case of requirement of a cheap product that overweighs the need for safety of family and self. The developed countries like the United States have stalwart agencies which oversee the protection of consumer products. The Food and Drug Administration, FDA for that matter, for foods and drugs, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, for automobiles and the Consumer Product Safety Commission, CPSC, for various other consumer products, this right needs each product which can potentially be a danger to our lives to be marketed after adequate and complete verification as well as validation. India is 50 years away for empowering the right adequately and completely. Right to information. The right to information is defined as the right to be informed about the quality, quantity, potency, purity, standard and price of the good or services. As the case may be, so as to protect the consumer against unfair trade practices. In the Consumer Protection Act of 1986, in Marketplace of India, consumers get information by two ways, namely advertisement and word of mouth. However, these sources are considered to be unreliable, but still this word of mouth is quite common here. Because of this, the Indian consumers hardly have precise and complete information for assessing the true value, safety, suitability, reliability of any product. Usually, the hidden cost can be found. Lack of suitability, quality problems and safety hazards only after the purchase of the product. There is another right claimed by Indian government on paper. This right must ideally make sure that all consumable products have been labeled in a standard manner containing the cost, quantity, the ingredients and the instructions given to us the product safely. It is unfortunate that even the medicines in the country do not follow a standardized labeling convention. There should be establishment of unit price publishing standard for consumer market where costs are revealed in standard units like per kg or per liter. The consumers ought to be informed in an exact yet accurate manner for the cost involved during time of availing a loan. For providing benefit to the society through this right, advertisers must be held against the standards of product in the advertisements. The pharmaceuticals requires to disclose potential side effects related to their drugs and manufacture ought to be required to publish reports from independent product testing laboratories for the purpose of comparing the quality of their product from competitive products. Right to choose. The definition of right to choose as per the Consumer Protection Act 1986 is the right to be assured wherever possible to have access to a variety of goods and services at competitive prices. For regulating the market price, there is just one factor required and that is competition. Right to be heard. As stated in the Consumer Protection Act 1986, the right to be heard and to be assured that consumer's interest will receive due consideration at appropriate forums is the definition of the right to be heard. The right helps to empower the consumers of India for putting forward their complaints and concerns fearlessly and raising their voice against products or even companies and ensure that their issues are taken into consideration as well as handled expeditiously. However, till date the Indian government has not formed even one outlet for hearing the consumers or their issues to be sorted out. There are a number of websites striving to do this. The major objective of consumer is to ensure that these voices are heard by the corporate world. There is a website where consumers can upload their criticism as well as file complaints. Every criticism filed gradually lessens the overall score of the product which is being criticized. Therefore, each complaint is independently checked by an investigator who belongs to this site. 
this website provides the consumers the benefit of doubt always so their voice is considered over that of the company it is believed that this website the consumer is always right and that he is the king in case a consumer makes an allegation regarding the product the onus goes to the dealer or supplying company or manufacturer to disprove the allegation is not true to be precise the consumer is heard and the load of proof goes to the company various attempts are made by the government for empowering the citizens with right and it is believed that about 10 to 15 years more are required for accomplishment of this goal right to redress the right to seek redressal against unfair trade practices or restrictive trade practices or uh, scrupulous exploitation of consumers is referred to as right to redressal according to the consumer protection act 1986 the government of india has been bit more successful with regard to this right the consumer courts like district court dispute redressal forum at district level state consumer dispute redressal commissions and national consumer dispute redressal commissions have been incorporated with the help of consumer protection act right to consumer education the right of every indian citizen to have education on matters regarding consumer protection as well as about their right is regarded as the last right provided by consumer protection act the right makes sure that the consumer in the country have informational programs and materials which are easily accessible and would enable them to make purchasing decisions which are better than the before consumer education might refer to formal education through college and school curriculums as well as consumer awareness campaigns being run by non government organizations consumer ngos having little endorsement from the government of india basically undertake the task of ensuring the consumer rights throughout the country india is found to be 20 years away from giving this right that gives power to the common consumer so let's take up some questions to recapitulate the part we have done till now first and foremost the process in which the quality of a food substance is lowered through the addition of another substance is called mixing two substances adulteration substandard quality or all the above yeah the correct answer is adulteration very good the agencies which look into the complaints of the consumers are popularly called consumer courts consumer commissions consumer forums or consumer cells yes these are called consumer courts name the court to which a consumer can approach having a claim of 40 lakh national consumer court state consumer court district consumer court or none of the above yes the consumer can report to the state consumer court very good all right to protect themselves what do consumers need consumer forums consumer protection councils consumer movement or consumer awareness yes they need consumer awareness so factors which cause the exploitation of the consumers limited and wrong information illiteracy and ignorance of the consumer few sellers and limited competition all the above yes all the above problem limited and wrong information illiteracy and ignorance of the consumer and few sellers and limited competition all of these lead to the exploitation of the consumer so moving on let's see what the consumer in the marketplace plays a role we participate in market both as producers and as consumers as producers of the goods and services we could be working in any of the sectors such as agriculture industry or services consumer participation in the market when they purchase goods and services that they need these are the final goods that people use as consumers the rules and regulations are required for the protection of consumers in the marketplace so what is this consumer movement then in india the consumer movement as a social force originated with the necessity of protecting and promoting the interest of consumer against unethical and unfair trade practices because of these efforts a significant 
initiative was taken in 1986 by the Indian government, which we have already discussed. It has implemented the Consumer Protection Act 1986, popularly known as COPRA. Safety is everyone's right. Consumer have the right to be protected against the marketing of goods and delivery of services that are hazardous to life and property. Producers need to be strictly follow required safety rules and regulations. Information about goods and services. When we buy any commodity, we have to know the ingredients used, the price, batch number, date of manufacture, expiry date, the address of the manufacturer. This information has been displayed because consumer have the right to get information about the goods and services that they purchase. This is what we had discussed in the earlier part where we talked about the right to information which a consumer has. In October 2005, the government of India enacted a law popularly known as RTI, right to information. This law ensures that its citizen get all the information about the functions of government departments at all the stages. When choice is denied, any consumer who receives a service in whatever capacity regardless of age, gender and nature of service has the right to choose whether to continue to receive the service or not. Now when their choice is denied, what should they do? Where should the consumer go to get justice? Consumers have the right to seek redressal against unfair trade practices and, and exploitation. The consumer movement in India has led to the formation of various organizations known as consumer forums or consumer protection councils. They guide consumers on how to file cases in consumer courts. COPRA, a three-tier quasi-judicial machinery at district, state and national level was set up for redressal of consumer disputes. First and foremost, the district level court called District Forum deals with the cases involving claims up to 20 lakhs. The state level court, State Commission deals with the cases involving claims between 20 lakh and 1 crore. The national level court is known as National Commission which deals with the cases involving claims exceeding 1 crore. If a case is dismissed or district level court, a consumer can also appeal in the state and subsequently in national level courts. So learning to become well informed consumer, that is the need of the hour. The enactment of COPRA has led to the setting up of separate departments of consumer affairs in central and state governments. The logo with the letter ISI, Eggmark or Hallmark helps consumer to get assurance of quality while purchasing goods and services. Taking the consumer movement forward, how is it done? India is one of the countries that have exclusive courts for consumer redressal. 24 December is observed as National Consumer Day in India. After more than 33 years of enactment of COPRA, consumer awareness is spreading through slowly in our country. For the speedy process of consumer movement, we require a voluntary effort and active participation of the people. So let's try to analyze what we have learned in today's session. All right, so on your screens, you can see a statement which has four options. Let's pick the correct option. The act which was enacted to protect the consumer was called Consumer Redressal Act, Right to Information Act, Consumer Protection Act or Right to Represent Act. Yes, it was called Consumer Protection Act. Option C. So which logo or mark you will have to look for on a biscuit pack? Is it egg mark, ISI mark, hall mark or ISO mark? Yes, it is egg mark. Consumer Protection Act COPRA was enacted by Indian government in 1986, 1983, 1988 or 1985. Yes, COPRA was enacted in 1986. Alright, so MRP on a product represents minimum retail price, maximum retail price, 
माइक्रो रिटेल प्राइस और नन ऑफ द अबव एम आर पी मीन्स मैक्सिमम रिटेल प्राइस ऑप्शन बी हु कैन सीक इंफॉर्मेशन अंडर आर टी आई एक्ट टू थाउजेंड फाइव अ ग्रुप ऑफ पर्सन एन इंडिविजुअल सिटीजन अ रजिस्टर्ड कंपनी एन एसोसिएशन और सोसाइटी एन इंडिविजुअल सिटीजन ऑफ इंडिया कैन आस्क फॉर इंफॉर्मेशन अंडर आर टी आई एक्ट डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल कंज्यूमर कोर्ट्स कैन सेटल क्लेम्स अप टू ट्वेंटी लैक वन करोड़ फिफ्टी लैख और एटी लैख डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल कंज्यूमर कोर्ट्स सेटल क्लेम्स अप टू ट्वेंटी लैक्स ऑप्शन ए और राइट राइट टू इंफॉर्मेशन एक्ट वॉज इनेक्टेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इन अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड फाइव डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड फाइव जनवरी टू थाउजेंड सिक्स और नन Yes the correct option is October 2005 Which of the following is covered under public services postal services mobile repair services washing machine after sale services or none of the above Yes it's the postal services correct answer All right my last question So on which of the following date do we celebrate the National Consumers Day 24th October 14th October 24 December or 14th December Correct option is option C 24th December The motto given for every consumer Jago Grahak Jago We get to see this motto almost everywhere on TVs often we get to listen to it on the radios we want the consumer to be enlightened passing on this information i am sure that today's session must have been very fruitful for you for your day to day life we'll be back with many more sessions till then stay safe stay healthy and keep studying namaskar